Hello friends, welcome to Expert Medical Coding. In today's video, we are going to discuss about diverticulitis. We are going to see what is diverticulitis is, what are the symptoms of it, causes, complications, diagnostic tests, treatment options and precautions. So let's get started. So what is diverticula is? Diverticula are small bulging pouches that can form in the lining of your digestive system. They are found most often in the colon. Now what is diverticulosis is? The presence of diverticula is known as diverticulosis. Now let us see what is diverticulitis is. When one or more of the pouches become inflamed and infected, that condition is called diverticulitis. Now we will discuss about the symptoms of this condition. They are abdominal pain. The lower left side of the abdomen is usually the site of the pain. Fever and chills, nausea and vomiting, abdominal tenderness, abdominal distension, blood in stool, rectal bleeding, diarrhea and constipation. Now let us see the causes of this condition. Diverticulitis is caused by an infection of one or more of the diverticula. It is thought an infection develops when a hard piece of stool or undigested food gets trapped in one of the pouches. This gives bacteria in the stool the chance to multiply and spread, triggering an infection. Now let us see the complications of this condition. Severe or persistent diverticulitis can lead to complications such as gastrointestinal bleeding. Bleeding from diverticula can be severe and lead to anemia. Next complication is the intestinal obstruction. Severe swelling might cause your colon to temporarily narrow. Chronic swelling might cause scarring or stricture which can cause more permanent narrowing. Next complication is the fistula. An inflamed and eroded colon wall might fuse to another body canal such as your small intestine, bladder or vagina creating an inappropriate tunnel between the two. Next complication is the bladder inflammation. Diverticulitis that's close to your bladder may irritate it. A fistula to your bladder may also spread an infection there. Next complication is the abscess. An abscess is a pocket of infected pus that may need to be drained. If it ruptures, it can infect your peritoneal cavity that is called as peritonitis. This is an emergency. Next complication is the gastrointestinal perforation. If a diverticulum becomes swollen enough to rupture or tear, it could allow intestinal bacteria to leak into your peritoneal cavity. Peritonitis can lead to sepsis. Now let us see the diagnostic tests. They are abdominal ultrasound, MRI scan, CT scan, abdominal x-ray to create pictures of your GI tract. Another diagnostic test options are blood, urine and stool test to look for infection. Colonoscopy to examine the inside of your GI tract. Now let us see the treatment options. If your diverticulitis is mild, your doctor will suggest rest and a liquid diet while your intestines heal. They might also give you antibiotics to treat the infection. In more severe cases, You might need to stay in the hospital and take antibiotics that are intravenous. If you have an abdominal abscess, your doctor will drain it. If your intestines is ruptured or you have peritonitis, you'll need surgery. So there are two main types of surgery. First one is the primary bowel resection. In this procedure, your surgeon will remove diseased parts of the intestine and reconnect the healthy sections. You can have normal bowel movements afterwards. Second surgical option is the bowel resection with colostomy. This needs to be done if there is so much swelling that the surgeon can't reconnect your colon to your rectum right away. Your doctor will create an opening in your abdominal wall so waste can flow into a bag. Surgeons can often reconnect the bowel after the inflammation has passed. Now let us see the precautions. To help prevent diverticulitis, exercise regularly. Exercise promotes normal bowel function and reduces pressure inside your colon. Try to exercise at least 30 minutes on most days. Avoid smoking and drink 
plenty of fluids. Please like, share and subscribe to Expert Medical Coding. Thanks for watching.